हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल वन सेकेंड टू दिस चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अनदर वीडियो ऑन द ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ ए स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग आवर क्वांटम एक्सप्रेसो सो फॉर दैट आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस ब्यूराइ सॉफ्टवेयर विच वी नो दैट दिस इज द जी ओ आई फॉर क्वांटम एक्सप्रेसो सो हियर आई एम ओपनिंग द ब्यूराइ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज आवर क्वांटम एक्सप्रेसो लाइक दिस ब्यूराइ विंडो and here i am going to optimize this structure so the cif file i have already taken so this is the structure of v2cf v2cf2 and as you can see that this green color atoms are fluorine this small black colors are carbon and these two are of vanadium now here on the right side you see this is the cell parameter and these are the elements like here carbon fluorine and vanadium uh, atoms are present so that's why corresponding to that their pseudo potential file is also visible so here uh, before doing calculation i am going to change this pseudo potential file to this this ultra soft one okay next also the same for uh, fluorine and for vanadium we will take this one okay now this is fine now here you can see that the uh, exchange correlation functional here is pb and this is the power potential and cut off for the wave function is 49.92 and cut off for charge is 641.335 within the rydberg unit now in the atom section we can see that there are only five atoms that's why the five like here in this unit cell we are having v2cf2 that means only five atoms and their corresponding position are also visible next we will go to acf here now here uh, we want to calculate the force we want to calculate the cell stress and here we will change our cut off for the wave function so as we have seen that the initial gas value was given to be 49 point something 49 point 9 something so i am giving it to 50 and for the, for charge it was 641.33 so i am i will give 641 only okay now here this is the k point so as we know that the this lattice if you will see that and uh, this lattice is elongated like the we have added the vacuum along z direction so so the and the lattice are elongated along a, x and y that means this is a kind of 2d 2d lattice okay so uh, so for that the value of uh, k points is uh, given as 4 4 along x and y and it is given as 1 uh, as z direction so as we know that if the value if the um, if the value uh, of the axis is more in the real space then the value of the same value will be will be one by of that much in the reciprocal lattice that's why if we are having a elongated lattice along z direction or elongated uh, z axis that's why the value of k here is only one okay so similar way if you want to retain the same k point for a, a x and y you can retain this and uh, because we know that in the hexagonal what we usually know that a equal to b that means the lattice constant along a and b direction is same and uh, c c can be anything and here the c value we have taken uh, something that we can see from here uh, this much only okay now we will go again and if you want to change this k point so i am going to change it to 551 for this time so i, I like you can also uh, take certain some larger value but uh, in, instead of having a larger value initially you can also do a step wise calculation like from 551 to 771 991 so this way you can also go for any larger value that you want and here the smearing we will set as uh, formidirac next part is the electronic optimization so we will do this electronic optimization here and the initial gas will be of, of this atomic and random and the initial gas uh, for the charge density will be atomic and next is the magnetization so this vanadium atom has certain magnetization and here uh, we can consider this magnetization for this time also so i am going to calculate this magnetization for total and uh, 
and here the magnetization of entire system we can give the same as 0.0.2 which is given also here okay next uh, ggu plus u we will not do here next after this we will go to here so here i am not going to select this variable cell because if i will select this then what will happen this vacuum label can be reduced so uh, as we want this vacuum label to be fixed along so that there won't be in won't be any periodic image interaction so that's why i am not going to click over this variable cell analysis rather what we will do we will only change the position coordinate of the atoms present in this kit in this crystal structure okay now let's go to our input structure so this is our input structure and here we will do only only relax not the uh, variable cell relax okay all the file like uh, whatever input we have set is it came over here okay this part is a magnetization this is for the charge density like the wave function and the uh, that we have set here and this charge density okay next next we will go to run the simulation so i am going and i am going to run the simulation here and here we, the job type is optimize save the project first so i am going to save it here save it as opt and okay so now you can see the simulation is running now and uh, after um, like when it will run this red color button will appear so after the optimization we will have our uh, final results so uh, up to then we can take a pause and we will resume our session later so as you can see now our calculation is over so i am going to open the uh, saved file so i have saved that into this opt file so here i will open you the structure so so after the calculation our structure has become like this and here we have only changed like we have given to change the atomic positions only not the cell size so now let's go to here here is the results and this is our input file that we have given and this is our log output and here you can see one thing like job is done that means the simulation is terminated and next is uh, this is the scf calculation like this is how the scf is done next is this opt so this is where the optimization simulation is performed and only within five iteration our optimization is converged and the total energy is minus 407.194 in rydberg unit next is uh, this is how the force is converged and next part is the stress as we have given to calculate the force and stress as well and this one is the movie so i am going to play this movie here so you see that how the structure is changing so although it is not yeah you see very little changes that means our structure from the earlier structure that we have given is uh, almost optimized so within just three to four uh, steps like four five six steps it's optimized to its uh, final value like final confirmation okay so this way you can perform your simulation and uh, and check your results like this using the quantum espresso in a burai in in the burai software okay so this much for today session and thank you all